What's going on, man? This is your boy JT, and welcome back to another episode of South Stand Signings. And boy, it's another big one. It is looking tasty, baby. It is more succulent than a freshly braised lamb and more flavoursome than Kuba Hamus. Leeds United are going back in for that man, Lewis O'Brien, but we're not just going back in for him. We're ready to hit the release clause now. There's also massive updates in the quest for Noah Lang. Massive updates in Rafinha's quest for over for his trip over to Barcelona. Calvin Phillips could he finally be making that switch over to Manchester City and Leeds potentially snapping up Rui P from Barcelona. All of that and so so much more. But anyway, let's start with a big one, and it is Lewis O'Brien. Of course, Huddersfield just lost a playoff final to Nottingham Forest yesterday. First of all, congratulations to Nottingham Forest. Commiserations, Huddersfield. And your day might be getting a little bit worse if you are a Huddersfield fan, because Leeds are ready to not just swoop in and make a bid for Lewis O'Brien, but take him away by triggering his release clause. Something we should have done a long time ago, because we have been in desperate need for midfield reinforcements enforcements this entire season and we could have really done with him about six months ago we really could but let's not waste any more time let's get straight into the old article Zinio. boom is the first one as of the 29th of may 2022 by craig scott and take a note of the time here 6 44 p.m door opens for leeds united to sign lewis o'brien as huddersfield lose playoff final versus nottingham forest huddersfield's failure to win promotion to the premier league means the door is open for leeds united to finally sign Lewis O'Brien from them this summer or O'Brien I may be completely hash browning that name pronunciation there. Uh, Levy Colwell's own goal was enough for Nottingham Forest to win 1-0 in the championship playoff final. Of course it was. Um, that means that O'Brien can now be up for grabs for Leeds for an affordable fee, which is of course £10 million. Pounds. Sun journalist Alan Lixon reported via his Patreon account that Leeds will make a new move to sign Lewis O'Brien after a failed effort to land the Huddersfield central midfielder. It is understood that Leeds went, spent weeks chasing a deal for the Colchester born maestro only to fail to offer Huddersfield enough money. I know, why were we haggling over one or two million pounds? Why didn't we just slap the cash down while we did need him? A bit more waffle, slightly more waffle, 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 and let's top it off with a little bit more waffle. But later that night, as of 10.10, 10, Charlie Smith reported that Whites are ready to trigger Lewis O'Brien's release clause. Leeds United are ready to make a fresh move for Huddersfield Town's midfielder Lewis O'Brien. Yeah. The Whites know all about O'Brien. Of course we do. And they turned down four offers from Leeds for the 23-year-old last summer with Bielsa, placing him at the top of his wish list. Here we go. The latest transfer update. Nixon shared a story late on Saturday evening regarding Leeds and O'Brien. The reliable reporter revealed that Jesse Marsh will sanction a fresh move for the central midfielder and have the cash to meet his £10 million release clause. That's right, we've got that cash in hand. Cash, cash, money. And we're ready to splash it. We are ready to splash it. Now, I'm not so sure that this is the greatest of moves that Leeds could be making, to be honest. Especially when I'm hearing reports like this. Uh, Leeds United are expected to welcome four fresh faces to Ellen Road, and there is no doubt that Jesse Marsh will set his sights on signing a striker. Okay, so if you're telling me this, Mr. Dean Jones, if you're telling me that one of them's going to be a striker, um, one of them's already Brendan Aronson, and you're telling me that we've only got two more fresh faces coming in, and one of them's going to be Lewis O'Brien, and we might lose Phillips, and we might lose uh, Rafinha. More on that in just a second. It kind of scares me a little bit, because I think there's so much more that we need to do for the squad in this summer period. But as long as we're bringing some other people alongside O'Brien, whether that be a Tyler Adams or some other players we're going to get onto in just a second, then I think it could be some very, very good business. And I'm hearing some rumblings in the jungle. In the junglings? In the jungle? That it might just be happening very, very soon. And I mean very soon. More on that coming later. So let me know what you guys think about O'Brien down in a comment section down below. Another emerging transfer story which has been absolutely popping off over the past couple of days is Leeds United's chase for Noah Lang. And as of yesterday, it has been reported that Leeds are ahead of Milan in the race for Noah Lang. A wing or two is likely to be among the transfer targets for Leeds with a potential threat of losing Rafinha and Jack Harrison looming large. Uh, there was 
was said to be some competition from AC Milan, which Leeds would undoubtedly struggle to compete with. Although the Calcio Merato are claiming that a newly crowned Italian champions are behind Leeds and even West Ham in the race for Lang. Now, 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 this is where things get a little bit scary because if we do go over here, a recent report from the Calcio Marato on Noel Lang's future has basically come out and said that West Ham are already prepared to offer a 3 million euro per year contract to Lang, theoretically putting them in the ascendancy. However, Lang's priority is to join Milan, who have already held talks with the club Bruges International over a transfer. Leeds United are another club who have expressed their desire to to sign the Dutchman, much like Milan. They have also held talks with Club Bruges regarding a transfer, although it is West Ham who have a real shot at challenging AC Milan for the services of the 22-year-old. This isn't looking great. This isn't looking great because do we have 3 million euros per year or 3 million pounds per year to offer up for Noah Lang and compete with West Ham? I think we'd be able to offer him more game time than West Ham. As for them saying that AC Milan are still his favourites to join, he'd probably prefer him move to AC Milan considering they just won their first Scudetto in god knows how many years whereas Leeds on the other hand just avoided relegation but I'm not so sure it's hotting up and I think there's still a good chance that we could get him but for now it's looking a bit ropesy. It is looking a bit ropesy. And speaking of ropes, this report right here is on very thin ropes, if you ask me. Leeds Marsh must sign Tom Lawrence this summer. The attacker is out of contract this summer and is attracting interest from a number of teams, including Leeds, Bournemouth, Southampton and Fulham. Victor Orta must swoop in to land the Welshman. Well, let me stop you right there, pal. Let me stop you right there. What's your name, fella? What's your name? Daniel Emery. Yeah? Daniel Emery. Mr. Good Evening himself. Let me tell you something, fella. He is not a priority. I don't know what you're talking about putting him and Rafinha in the same sentence, to be honest. Uh, I mean, Tom Lawrence, he, he could be a good addition. Of course he could. And I would like to hear from you guys more if you know maybe more about Tom Lawrence as to whether he would be a good signing for Leeds United. But compared to some of the other names we're looking at, compared to the likes of Noah Lang, compared to the likes of Tyler Adams, I'm Sorry, my man, but uh, this is not a priority for Leeds at the moment. However, one that could be is fulfilling another midfield slash fullback role because Leeds could be losing Jamie Shackleton. As of Charlie Smith reporting, uh, Jamie Shackleton could leave on loan this uh, summer. Leeds United midfielder Jamie Shackleton could leave on uh, leave the club on loan this summer, according to the Yorkshire Evening Post. Leeds journalist Joe Donahue shared a story on the Yorkshire Evening Post on Saturday morning looking at the club's summer plan. Donahue stated that Marsh is open to the idea of several youngsters leaving to gain regular game time and said that Shackleton could be a prime candidate to depart on a temporary basis. I'm not against this. I'm not too against this, to be honest. I think he does need game time. Right now, I don't see him breaking into the side anytime soon. So I think this is a very good move for both parties involved. Another move that would not be good for most parties involved is Manchester City believing to keep a close eye on Calvin Phillips' situation ahead of potentially making a bid for the midfielder, according to journalist Pete O'Rourke. Uh, he's been attracting a lot of interest from a number of clubs. Aston Villa, West Ham and Newcastle having shown interest. The villains would reportedly be willing to pay £60 million for Phillips. Up that by a couple of zeros on the end and you might be talking my language. Uh, meanwhile, Leeds have kept their prize asset by offering them a new deal and their chances appear to have been helped by them staying up. Well, they haven't been helped. We wouldn't have had any chances if we didn't stay up. He does believe that Phillips would struggle to turn his back on City if they do make a move for him. Uh, although he expects Leeds to do everything they can to keep the 19 cap international at Ellen Road. Uh, there are lots of reports suggesting Man City are monitoring his situation right now as well that might make it difficult for Leeds to secure his long-term future because if you get the opportunity to move to Manchester City, it's a pretty hard one to turn down, joining the champions and possibly working under Josep Guardiola. Another story is that Leeds are expected to sanction Rafinha's exit away from Ellen Road if Barcelona offer up to £60 million again, according to journalist Pete O'Rourke. He's popping off today. The journalist feels that the wide man will get his wish as the Liga Giants meet Leeds' financial expectations. O'Rourke told Gibby Sport, I think Romina has admitted that he would be interested in a move to Barcelona. He's more than admitted. He's basically so agreed personal terms with them. Uh, I think this one could happen, especially if Barcelona do meet Leeds' asking price. And yeah, but will they get close to them? It's not looking likely. It isn't looking likely that they are going to get to that £60 million uh, pound valuation. However, if they do, then maybe we can talk bread. And that bread might not just include money because 
as of a recent report by Leeds Live. Ricky P is among Barcelona's players allowed to leave. Barcelona's financial situation means it's essential that they sell players. Are they either deemed deadwood or are taking up too much of the wage bill? According to the Express, Ru Ricky P is among those that Xavi doesn't feel he needs in his squad. Uh, the 22-year-old was once a target of Bielsa's at Leeds and is available for a cut price this summer. And Victor Orta might be keen to test the water. However, with the Whites reluctant to sell Rafinha to the Spanish Giants, it's unlikely that they'll be too keen to let one of their players move to LMO without the Brazilian moving the other way. Exactly. So, if they can get themselves up to 50 or 60 million pounds and then throw in Ricky P on the, uh, on the addition to that, then maybe we can talk. And that that sounds a little bit more likely if you ask me because them just paying 50 million pounds not good enough i'm afraid and ricky p could be that perfect midfield addition that leads have been lacking in other news alfie vincent was reporting that leeds united could go in for 18 million pound rated striker che adams i'm not too sure about that one it doesn't really seem to have a lot of legs on it but he was reporting it nonetheless uh, another one is basically talking again about how 21 year old defender nathan collins is should be on marsh's wish list uh, another man who plays for leeds and has rave words or rather rave reviews for the new man and Jesse Marsh is Brenton Aronson. He believes Jesse Marsh has taken him to the next level. He basically goes on to talk about how Jesse Marsh taught him how to get more goals and more assists to his game. And with the two now linking up again, it could be very exciting times ahead for the duo. Uh, there was another report yesterday talking about Leeds star Daniel James's dramatic transfer value change since Man United switch, where his value has reportedly dropped from around 50 to 70 million euros to 30 to 40 million euros in just the season that he's been at Ellen Road. There was further reports about Nottingham Forest's Ghana coming to Leeds as well. However, However, this was just before Nottingham Forest secured their promotion to the Premier League. So this one hasn't really got any legs to it. But those have been the stories for this morning. Let me know down in the comment section down below which ones intrigue you and which ones you want to see putting pen to paper over at Ellen Road. But for now, guys, I will see you very, very soon. Au revoir, my brothers and sisters. Hello.